Okay, so in this problem, we look at ways to solve um, an equation for um, something other than the variables themselves. And in this case, what we're looking at is a plus b plus c. So we want to find what a plus b plus c is. And sometimes it turns out that it's not required to actually know what the individual value of a plus b plus c. Um, certainly on this problem, you could uh, solve it. That way, it's a system of three equations with three unknowns, and so you could find a and b and c, uh, but it would be could be very challenging to do. <coughs> so instead, we start by looking, is there a way to combine these terms, 6a plus 3b equal to 13, b minus 4c equal to 7, and 2a plus c equal to 12. Uh, is there a way to combine these in such a way that um, we can ca calculate a plus b plus c without actually knowing the three variables. Well, it does turn out to be the case. And, and if you look at this, um, I always take a look at the first two equations and say, well, what would be a, a logical way to combine them? I want a plus b plus c, so I need the c value to be positive. So the negative 4c gives me pro problems if I try to add them. So what would be a logical way to do this problem would be to subtract the um, second equation from the first, and so we're going to subtract here, which just goes through and changes the sign. And when I do that, I get 5a, um, or not 5a, 6a, plus 2b, um, because I do 3b minus b, and then plus 4c equals 6. Still at this point, you know, we're not anywhere near a plus b plus c until we look at the second equation and realize that um, I've got a 2b here. And so if I can use something with this third equation um, that I can change a and c into um, 2a and 2c, then I would be in really good shape. Um, and it turns out you can do that by subtracting twice. So multiplying by negative 2 or subtracting twice that third equation. If you do that, you get negative 4a and then minus 2c, and then minus 24. So that gives you 2a when you add those together, plus 2b, plus 2c equals negative 18. Divide everything by t c, and you get a plus b plus c equals negative 9. And so we were able to, by doing some clever combinations of these three variables, determine what a plus b plus c is without ever actually finding the variables themselves.